हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ न्यू लाइब्रेरी ऑफ नोट चेयर्स व्हिच अलाउज यू टू बेसिकली पार्स एंड एक्सट्रैक्ट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ फाइल यू कैन बेसिकली एक्सट्रैक्ट टैबुलर डेटा और यू कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट प्लेन डेटा सो दिस लाइब्रेरी इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज पीडीएफ रीडर दिस इज बेसिकली द पैकेज हियर इफ यू जस्ट गो टू एनपीएम जेएस एंड जस्ट टाइप हियर पीडीएफ रीडर the very first link which appears here this is basically the package 15000 weekly, weekly downloads are there here you will see simple command is there npm i pdf reader so i have written a complete blog post in the description of this live stream you can go to the description to copy paste all the source code i have written this source code from scratch all the instructions are given now let's me get started so basically here you need to create your node js project and simply install this library which is npm i pdf reader this is basically the package which is required for this uh, application i have already installed it so let me just start this application so if you see guys we have two files out there this is the file.pdf it basically contains some table so we can extract the table you will see it contain four columns four rows of data and also we have the basic one this is the password protected file if you open this pdf file you will be prompted to enter a password so this library can also parse or extract data from a password protected pdf document so if i enter the password here so now this file will open it contains two pages now let me show you how basically we can do this just create index.js so first of all guys uh, this library supports this syntax which is import syntax in order to import this so basically for this you need to basically write uh, just one line inside your package.json file just go to your package.json file of your project and just add this property which is called as type is equal to module this will not be added once you define this by default you need to add this type property because this uh, module which is pdf reader it doesn't suppose common js it doesn't su support the required syntax this it, it doesn't suppose this syntax so that's why we need to use if you want to use that import statement you need to add that so after this you basically invoke the new instance of pdf reader it contains this method which is parse file items and here you will pass your uh, file name so first of all let me show you how to extract the tabular data present inside the pdf document so we are passing the path of this file file.pdf right inside this so after this guys it contains a callback function it will basically uh, ex extract all the data and it will be contained inside this callback function so if any sort of error take place guys we can basically console log the error that's all and uh, else if we will have else if and basically if no items are returned if no data is present here we will simply say uh end of file and if data is present here then in that case we will basically extract item dot text we will basically console log item dot text so this is basically the text property which is available which basically extract all the data and if you see all the data is returned to us which is id name username email these are the column names and basically this is the actual data which is present inside the pdf document that i showed you you will see that it is extracting this ta tabular data it is parsing this uh, all the data which is present here and it is returning us inside this uh, console and uh, now let me show you guys you can directly write like this guys if you don't want to do this simply write item dot text this will also work so if you just refresh so it is saying that cannot read properties of undefined let me just see okay i think you do, you do need to write like this so just write like this guys so i think you do need to write like this so if you just refresh it you will see that all the data will be returned and now if you have a password protected 
PDF document guys something like this if you are password protected then basically it contains uh, you need to slightly modify this new PDF reader and basically it takes an option called as password and here you need to provide your password guys and once again it contains this parse file items and uh, then again here you basically need to give the file name so this file name will be protected.pdf and once again this will be returned to us which is error item so here we need to provide the password guys so whatever password protected my password is 123456 and if you see guys if you refresh you will see all this uh, data will be returned to us you will see that basically so this is the data which is password protected you will see that two pages are there and uh, if I refresh the password 123456 click on submit and then basically this PDF file will open and all this data is returned to us inside the console here. So now let me uh, incorrect password let me provide here 123 and if I refresh here you will see password is not correct you will see that password exception closure. So you need, do need to provide correct password here like this and So the third scenario guys basically if you want to read the file from a buffer instead of uh, providing the full path of the file you can even do that also using this library you can read the pdf file document content from a buffer for that you will require the file system module and the same we will do this pdf reader from pdf reader and here guys it contains basically the file system module it contains read file method and we will basically read the file from the buffer and basically it contains this it returns the pdf buffer here in the callback function and then we can read this using pdf reader and it contains a method which is parse buffer and here we will pass the pdf buffer guys like this and we are converting the pdf content to buffer and we are basically reading it chunk by chunk and if any sort of error take place we can console log it and else if if for item we can console log item and else if item text we can console log item text this is example using buffer guys and now if you refresh your browser so we just make it console one sorry this needs to be if you see here this needs to be item here so just change it to item here so if you refresh here all the data which is present inside your pdf document will be returned in the console line you will see that basically so in this way this library provides you a very easy access how to read data present inside your pdf document and basically console log it inside your terminal so you can take any pdf document so all the source code is given in the description of this live stream so you can check out the source code step by step instruction is given so thank you very much for watching this live stream